SongSketch 2.1 includes improvements for clip placement, scenes workflow and visual guides for song sections. The 2.1 update is making full use of the Closer Max for Live integration that was introduced in Live 11. Live 10 is still supported, but most of the new features are only available for Live 11. With the new placement feature, clips are placed on the arrangement view as dragged out clips instead of placed with duplicated notes within the clips or repeated clips for audio. This means that you don't have to think about the length of clips. When you create arrangements, you can use any length of clips and yet the arrangements will be placed much faster than before. You can choose if the clips should be placed as continuous blocks or if they should restart at every new section. You can now replace an existing arrangement with a new one without having to clear the view first. You can still keep material on the side without overwriting it. And you can keep tracks that aren't part of the arrangement, but any material that is in the way of a new arrangement will be removed. For Live 11 users, the new Sections Track feature replaces the previous section names on Clips feature. When Sections Track is enabled, you will get an extra dummy track on top of your other tracks with empty MIDI clips. The empty clips will be named according to the sections in the arrangement. There is also a new button that you can use to place locators once an arrangement is placed. Together with the sections track option, this gives you a good overview of the song structure. It's now possible to have your scene names in the live set transferred to the scene settings in SongSketch. When the Use Scene Names feature is enabled, any named scenes in the live set will be applied to the scene settings in SongSketch. The topmost scene is always the default scene, so naming the topmost scene does not have any effect on the scene settings. For a detailed overview of the new features, please see the link in the description. Thanks for watching.